So we need to continually keep things that are useful to us in a situation like this. Now, I looked at the back of this unit. Now, I don't know how this happened, but this is the power cord. You're gonna see a lot of these cords. There's one that's circular and then circular and straight edge. There's several of these cords, okay? I'm trying to put it there. Um, some VCRs are hardwired and this one wasn't. Now, lucky I caught this, okay? <laughs> Hey everybody, Mike, Golden State Picker, ready to go. We're in the garage. We're ready to show you some things we found, some things we sold, talk about these things, show you uh, just how I work, talk about it, that kind of stuff. If you're new to the channel, I am Mike. I'm out of San Jose, California, basically Silicon Valley, home of Google, Facebook, Tesla, Microsoft, a lot of companies here a lot of technology and there's also a lot of wealth here so i tend to find some good stuff occasionally so that's the caveat the caveat is hey if you're new and you're trying to figure out reselling uh, i like to say i'm not quite normal as far as this goes you can find good stuff i find a lot of good stuff but if you're in smaller cities and rural areas it's a different animal there and i completely understand that because my son-in-law and daughter live in North Carolina, small town, but they still pick and they're still successful at it. So I just wanna let you know to uh, just remember, it's different everywhere, but you can make a go of reselling and make a difference in your life and your family's life doing this, okay? All right, now we're gonna get into what we found first and show you that kind of stuff. Uh, I have a caveat here too that I talk about with my reselling, especially when it's slow and it's not very busy. And it hasn't been super busy. Today is Tuesday, which means it's Senior Tuesday at Savers and at Goodwill. So I make a big route where I start at Savers and I go through some Goodwills and I come back to Savers, okay? And it worked today and I'll explain that in a second. But I want you to understand is one thing that I always tell myself, every day, don't buy just to buy. It is my motto. I make sure that I just, don't go in to purchase something to purchase something. I'm there with a purpose and I'm a business person, so I gotta make money and I gotta flip it fairly quickly. That's the way I'm thinking. So I don't buy just to buy, uh, especially if there's been many times when I've hit 10 stores and come away with nothing that fits my, fits my eye, nothing. That's okay, that's a win, that's a win. That's what I consider it. Didn't spend any money, didn't lose any money, all that kind of stuff. So keep that in mind, don't buy just to buy. So I started off with savers this morning. And on, when I first went in, we all mad dash around, look around, nothing. So now I have to wait a little bit and see if the carts come out. I don't like to wait too long. I wait about a half hour to an hour and then I'm out. I will leave savers and then I will head up and do Goodwill and come back down around and hit savers at the end. So the first item I found, <clears throat> it came off of a cart, okay? This is, what it, this is what it is, it's a Dyson. It's a, I gotta put it on this side, it's kinda hard. It's a Dyson multi-ball vacuum, <laughs> there it is. Dyson does pretty well for parts and also if it works, and this happens to work. Now if you can see the price, it's $9.99. I'm, I'm hanging up on the corner here. It's $9.99, a big item. I can test it in the store, that's good. It worked, so that's good. Now, if it didn't work, that doesn't mean I won't buy it. For $9.99 minus 30%, I paid $7, okay? So uh, no matter what, I would probably have taken that. I want it to be working because it just it, it, it's easier, in my opinion. But you can make more money sometimes parting them out than you can selling the whole unit. So keep that in mind, too. This will get me about $100, 100 to 110 maybe, plus some shipping on that. Not too difficult to ship because you can kind of wrap the hose around. So keep your eye out for Dyson. Dyson, the animal, the, the long one, that doesn't have the extension tube and the accessory, doesn't matter. People need the unit. They will get the tube or they may have the tube. So keep that in mind. Now I was going up for, now, my, now what I do after that is uh, I'm south, so I travel north. And I go all the way up as far as I want to. There's two Goodwills, one is farther than the other and I went to the farthest one. 
Now this particular Goodwill, remember I've talked about knowing the Goodwills, knowing the savers, knowing how they work, knowing the pickers. And I know as I'm driving up, I dawned on it dawned on me, it's almost noon. And there's this one picker that I always run into if I go into this particular Goodwill, who is a game guy, okay? And he also looks for other things. So I said to myself, man, I wonder if I'm going to beat him there. And I did, okay? He wasn't there yet. I walked in and I found this item right here. A chess set. Uh, $11, brand new, okay? Wooden chess set. Beautiful little chess set that will get about $80. Maybe a little bit more. Now, 10 minutes after I was in the store, he showed up. He does games. So he knows games and he likes them. He would have gotten this. So I got lucky. Okay. But I was thinking about him and I showed it to him. I showed it to him and he, he agreed. He goes, I just sold one a week ago for 80. And he said, you've got the box. So you might have a little bit more. So I'm just on the conservative side of 80. And uh, when, it was funny when, when I when he got there, he had already had three or four items on before. I go, what the heck? Where'd you get all that? You know, he likes to flip smaller items. I, I like to make sure that I can really make some profit. Anyhow, now, this was the next item I got there. Look at this. Really interesting. It's a vase. But I, I, couldn't, I couldn't make heads or tails. And he was there and he was trying to help me out too. There is a name down here etched into it. That kind of tips you off to maybe it's somebody, but you, you know what the hardest part is? Trying to figure out who they are. The name on it. I couldn't really figure out the name on it, but guess what I was doing? Now I'm sending it out to my picker friends who are more into maybe glass, that kind of thing, see if they can help me. And that's what I was doing. I was going to buy it no matter what. I thought it was very cool. I paid... Uh, I ended up paying thirteen dollars because it was uh, like fourteen something, so thirteen dollars for it. And I got back, and one of my picker friends sent me a note, and they said, "Hey, it's Murano, but it's an unsigned artist. We don't know." Okay, so they thought fifty to a hundred dollars for this particular piece, but I thought it was really cool. So hey, it wasn't a don't don't buy just to buy. I had to take this with that name on there because you just don't know. And it looks like it looks like it's a Murano piece. Now, if you think differently, let me know down in the comments down below. Now I come back down. I'm driving back down. I hit like four Goodwills. Nothing. Zero. So I think I did six Goodwills in the Savers. Drove back into Savers. I said, you know what? I got about an hour and a half before they stopped putting carts out. And I got a little bit lucky just before I left. Something came in. They priced it for me. And here it is. It's a Stanton turntable. Oh, back. We're trying to backwards. Oh, my goodness. Stanton turntable. I paid $12.99. $12.99 minus the 30%. Uh, they had a JVC one, JVC one there, too. <clears throat> but that one uh, I, didn't, I didn't particularly like. I don't think there were good comps. This here is a solid... Uh, 100 to 150. I got to look at a few more comps. The dust cover is very, very good. So that will help a lot. So I can't, I can't uh, complain uh, today. I got four really good items. 100. Let's call this 180, 280. Let's call that 50, 350. Let's say 350 in uh, potential there. So cannot complain. That's, that's a good a good thing. All right, now I gotta put this guy down somewhere where I don't step on it. All right, now we're back. We're back to show you the things that we sold. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you the numbers. I do not add the shipping, so this is not inflated in any way. It is the actual gross sales. That means uh, I have to have uh, uh, take out my cost of goods, my fees, and all that stuff, okay? $626, I think it's for 11 items, for 11 items. That's a pretty good average selling, sell price. Can't complain about that. If I can do $600 a day, happy, happy. 500, happy, happy. 400, happy, happy. You know, it doesn't matter, folks. Just make as much as you can and let the chips fall where they may. That's, that's the fun part of reselling. I do Amazon FBA books. I get money from there too, so it's... It's a life changer reselling. So hopefully if you're on the fence, you need to try to get into what we're doing because there's a 
there's a chance it could change your life, change your retirement, change a lot of things. So keep that in mind, okay? We're going to start off right off the bat when we talked about, I think the, the main part of this video was uh, you've got as a picker, you got to pick up some extra things because you never know when you're going to run into a problem. And I ran into a problem today. Now, I sold this item. I'm going to show you it. It's an RCA Combo VHS DVD player. There it is. Sold it for $56 plus, I think, $40 shipping. I took a best offer. I wanted this to go away, basically. These were red hot during uh, the pandemic and just before the pandemic. They've kind of slowed down. Certain ones will always get good money, but a lot of them have slowed down a little bit. So I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to make some money. Let's move this out. Now, you have to always look at your picture to make sure what comes with it, because if you forget something like a remote or a cord or something, you're in trouble. So I looked back here and I couldn't find, I looked at the picture, I couldn't find um, the RCA jacks. Now, good thing, I collect RCA jacks. So whenever you've got a unit that doesn't work or something, and you want to just keep the RCA jacks because you, you never know when you're going to need them that kind of thing. So we need to continually keep things that are useful to us in a situation like this. Now, I looked at the back of this unit. Now, I don't know how this happened, but this is the power cord. You're going to see a lot of these cords. There's one that's circular and then circular and straight edge. There's several of these cords, okay? I'm trying to put it there. Um, some VCRs are hardwired and this one wasn't. Now, lucky I caught this, okay? I don't know how I did, but you can see the wire is broke. Now, I tested this thing because I have a video play of this playing and working. So somehow, shuffling it around, I caught it, pulled on it, and broke it. Now it's in a panic because I think I have these cords, but there's a couple of different ones, and I did. There it is, okay? So I had an extra cord. That's what I'm talking about. You need a toolkit or you need some other stuff like this. So when you have this kind of problem, you can solve it. It would have been a real bummer if this would have made it to the customer like that. Then I would have had a problem. I would have been able to ship them another cord, okay? But then again, it sucks. So I got lucky. Sometimes you get lucky. And in the trash, did I make it? I made it. In it goes. <laughs> there it goes. So. Keep that in mind. And up next, Olympus uh, Voice Recorder. Okay, now I had this one for a little while. Uh, these are still, people still use them. Police officers, uh, all kinds of stuff. There's People are still tend to use this. I got $70, okay, plus $8 shipping. So 70 bucks for a, an older Olympus Voice Recorder. So keep, you'll, hey, People at garage sales and stuff like that, they just say, hey, two bucks, three bucks, whatever. You just, you grab that kind of stuff, especially when it's new like that. All right. Ooh, uh oh, you know I'm a manga fan, right? Anime. So when I'm doing my bin of books, oh, well, this one's all messed up now. <laughs> this is uh, Mercer Alago, and it is a manga series of one through, I think it's nine. I think it's nine or ten. Now I gotta re-put this back together. I, I I put the cellophane around it and it slipped. But this set got me forty-four dollars plus eight dollars shipping. If you've watched me long enough, you've seen enough manga to drive you crazy. Uh, I love it. Once I see it, my eyes go up because you just don't know. Some manga sets, if you can get them complete, can be worth really, really good money. So uh, I'm always looking. Now, I want to show you that I'm not afraid of something very small. I actually got this yesterday in a bin of books. There were some cassette tapes in here. Okay, the cassette tapes I sent to Amazon. There were five of them that will sell for $20 each, and one will sell for another $20. So there's $120 worth of brand new cassette tapes. Okay, I've already mailed them off today. And this was the case. And I said, you know what? Can we sell this thing? Let's see. Ten bucks. I don't mess around with it. I want it gone. And I sold it for $10 plus $6 shipping. Hey, money is money. You've, you know, you hear people go, why would you sell something like that? 
because I didn't touch this as nothing. And I'm going to make seven bucks net, seven dollars at least, maybe eight dollars net. Can't be much. That's why. So don't be afraid to sell anything like that. Now, I got this game. This is a different game. I got this at the flea market, and I think I did a video on this. I paid a dollar for a bunch of games. Now, some of them were in German, and this is in German. But inside, I don't know if I can get it real easy for you, is the English directions. So I think it's on this. The front is German, and the back is English. And we tell people, yeah. So there's the English and there's the German. So you have both. And that is key. So now it basically can still be played. And I did sell this for $20 plus $9 shipping. So, um, hey, dollar into 20. You know, we're talking, you know, you see me sell $500 items, $200 items, $150 all the, all the time, it seems like. But hey, I also sell the smalls and I want to be straight up and show you, yep, I'm not afraid to sell anything as long as it will move. Got this one this weekend, sold quickly. It is a Black and Decker, not a Black, yeah, Black and Decker. Ugh, Mike. Uh, you know what? This is not it. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong case. Anyhow, I'm going to put it up here. It's not that, guys. Let me put it up here. It's a Craftsman. Yeah, oh my, it, they're both in the same case. I'm glad I looked. Man, you see, you see, I can even make mistakes. We'll let it run. It is a Sears Craftsman uh, multi-tool, okay? And the Craftsman multi-tool sold for $44 plus $15 shipping. Wow. Basically the same size case and everything. I am sure glad I looked. I'm sure glad I did the video of it. Uh, so I got paid $5 at a garage sale for that. Five bucks. Oh my goodness. All right, let's go into a little bit bigger item. This one sat around for a while. This is interesting. All right, it's a RC, a jet, RC jet um, boat, brand new. Box is a little beat up. Now, there's an interesting thing about this. I put this on sale when I went away for vacation and it didn't sell. I think I had it down to about $129 or $124. I woke up this morning and it had sold, okay? It had sold for it bounced back to the original price of 170 plus 27 dollars shipping so i looked and i go oh no i forgot to put the restrictions on it it's going to alaska but not a problem i got a lot of profit in here and i got 27 dollars shipping now it's not heavy but there's a key that i have to watch here and i believe it's the 21 inch rule I measured this guy, and this is 20 inches. It's, I've got an inch to play with. I have got to keep this to the exact size and at 21 inches or less, or they're going to hit me with those non-standard fees. Because this can't go, well, it probably could go UPS or FedEx. I'm not positive, but it's more than likely going to go the post office route. Even if it costs me a little bit more than $27, who cares? I made a good money on it. Uh, my mistake, eat it ship it, make money. But I'm going to try and make sure I keep this to exactly 21 inches on the long side. So, hey, sometimes we make mistakes, guys. Mistakes happen. You don't change a setting. You don't do something and you forget. And there are people in Alaska and Hawaii. Can't tell you how many times I've made a mistake where somebody in like, let's say Hawaii, you've got something up there for, let's say $30, like a golf club, and your shipping is $14. And these guys are trying to knock it down to $20 and they're going, they're not realizing, look, this is a great deal. Try and figure out who's going to ship you a golf club for $14 and make the, and have to eat it. Some of, sometimes I bet you that's happened to a lot of you out there. So, uh, when that happens, I decline, and then I go in and quickly change it and make the adjustment on that particular item. So keep that in mind. Let's go back into books. Here's an interest. Let's go back. Let's do this one first. Here's a Bible, the New American Bible, the St. Joseph edition. It's green. Okay, it's a green Bible. And uh, this one got $19 plus $6 shipping. If you've watched my channel enough, you know I sell a lot of Bible stuff. Just a lot of Bible stuff. All right, up next. Here's a good one. This is what you want to look for, guys. You want to look for this series. This is the Easton. We've talked about Easton. Um, this one is in really good condition. It has the X uh, Libre 
personalization stick or uh, uh, little thing in it if you want to glue it into your book still clean this is the invisible man hg wells super super good condition some of the easton's four five six hundred dollars on their own you get the lot you can make good money too but some keep an eye out just for the singular ones what i do is if i've got a say pick up a lot of 20 well that's not going to help me overall but I can take out certain ones, sell them individually, then lot down. Let's say I find five good ones I can sell individually. That's what I do. The 15 then I sell as a lot. This one, The Invisible Man, sold for $66, I think it was, plus $8 media mail shipping. Love it. And my bin of books has been a big, big savior for me over this long haul. All right, let's get into, I think we got uh one more here we're gonna do one more and that's it now i've got already this is great because this is already boxed when i went to this particular uh garage sale everything was a dollar this was one dollar it was there this was late in the day guys this was not 9 a.m 8 a.m this was like 11 o'clock and this was still there and there was a note inside of it that said, hey, this is an expensive item. It's brand new. I've never used it. Look, it's still sealed. And they let it go for a dollar. It is agony. It is a skin for massaging your skin. Okay. It took me about a month to sell it. And I got $100 plus $20 shipping. And this is the original box. So I've already got it pre-done. So that's why you see me tape it up already. And I wrote what it was on there. Now all I got to do is weigh it put the label on it and off it goes those are the good deals where you just okay super super easy so uh that is pretty much it oh um oh i do have one more i'm going to show you i don't have it here it's a but real quick it's a bible commentary and i sold it for 27 dollars. i'm going to put it right there uh simple little bible commentary that i got out of my bin of books took a best offer of 27 plus 10 dollars shipping and that equals the $626, all right? Well, hopefully it got a couple of tips out of here of something, okay, that you can take in your reselling. Like example, saving extra power cords, extra cables, all that kind of stuff for a rainy day. And I had a rainy day and I was prepared and it saved my butt. All right, guys, hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, bell notification, all of that. And many thanks to all of you who have stuck around to watch my channel. Really do appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. And thanks again.